All right, what's up, YouTube? So, uh, we got we got some new news. New news. Check it out. Rashid, get ready for Rashid. Um, last night there was maintenance. Uh, it was I don't know what time it was. It was pretty late into the night. Um, everybody was you know in the middle of their matches and stuff like that, and I was chilling doing um loop trials and stuff. Game went into maintenance. Well, it came back, and this morning I log on to Facebook and I saw. Uh, the new uh, Rashid thing, and I was like, "Oh snap, Rashid! When does he when does he get released?" I'm not exactly sure when he gets released. the The fighting pass is now; it starts now until the 24th. So I don't know if he's going to come out the 24th or if he's going to come out in the middle of this fighting pass. Um, I, that that would be that would be nice uh, if they would have given us a trailer along with this um this fighting pass that would been that would have been cool uh but you know capcom not really knowing how to uh market stuff correctly you get people hyped for something and then don't give them anything it's like you you give us the fighting pass you give us this teaser for rashid and it's like oh rashid's close all right well when does he come out you said by the end of the summer and it's like there's there's two months left in the summer uh, is he coming out the end of this month or is he coming out the end of August? But uh, aside from that, also we have an event um, club recruitment uh, campaign. So I need to actually hurry up and get my um, my club made. And maybe this will help people uh, start to get into my club. I said I was going to make my, my new club, but I have to do a whole new, I have to make a whole new Steam account. They should they should allow you to make make more than one club. Um, I think even if they have a cap on it to like two, two clubs, three clubs or something like that. So you could have different clubs for different things. Like if you're running, you know, two different things, like I'm running the, uh, fighter Philly FGC group and, um, or the F Philly FGC club. And I have two clubs because I have another steam account that I have linked to another Capcom ID account just so I can make a second club because we filled our first one with a hundred players. So now I need another one because I want to do uh, one for just my uh, my followers and stuff for for my, you know, YouTube and TikTok and stuff that people that come to my stream for the Illuminati. I'll probably do that after I record this video. Um, but if you join a a uh, a club during this time, uh, you'll get, you know, drive tickets when Rashid gets added during the, the maintenance where Rashid gets added. So. They want you to be in clubs. They want you to be using the club feature. So we're already, you know, all of the people who are in the Philly FGC club, we're like 120 strong. So uh, I have to hurry up and make my um, uh, my Illuminati club so we can get everybody into there and uh, you guys can get your 2,000 drive tickets. Um, but yeah, as far as the, the new fighting pass goes, let's check out the new fighting pass for Rashid. Um... I kind of I looked through it already and I saved my 250 fighter coins uh, from the previous pass from the summer pass and used it to buy this pass. And at the end of this one, there is there are also uh, 250 coins. I'm just going to assume that it's 250 coins because that's what it was before to buy the next fighter pass. Right. Um, this one is also 30 and it's uh, 14,000 kudos for you to get through this uh, this fighter pass. And I'll probably end up finishing this fighter pass as well. Um, these rental tokens are so you can try out new characters for like an hour or whatever. But I guess I won't need them. Um, and I'll probably end up saving up these rental tokens for uh, for the time when like the new characters start to come out. If I don't have the money to buy the new season pass, which I, I most likely would buy the new season pass. But since i already have like the most expensive version of the game i already have all the characters so i won't even need to use these rental tokens so they'll they'll be just kind of like accumulating on my on my account this uh is sidearms it's a a new game that's uh you can play from the gallery that gets added if you have the the premium um so we're gonna i guess we'll just you know accept that real quick uh then you have rashid's eye device um this uh sticker this sticker for rashid uh rashid stuff I'm not, I'm not sure what character this is i served somebody in his lore uh rashid of the turbulent wind uh um uh title 
uh, music, Rashid's theme gets added to the music player. We have another sticker here on the free track. Uh, then we have his backpack, or Rashid's backpack, uh, avatar clothing item. So you can just basically dress up as Rashid. Um, then you have adds new frames you can use with the in-game camera. So I guess this is the frame to that you can that you can use. Uh, this is like the recording thing or whatever. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, the next title is streaming royalty. So I I would use this one. I would use this drone. I'd be streaming, you know. Uh, and then you have this other Rashid sticker. This is the new the new style of Rashid. He looks pretty cool. I actually like his design in this game so far. Um, here's his pants, the parkour bottoms. Uh, we have Laura's theme. Street dance. Okay, is basically spinning bird kick, but a dance. <laughs> then you have another another Rashid sticker. What is this here on the free track? Uh, adds frame, uh, another camera frame. So I guess this is like... I was starting to think it was like his his eyepiece, but it's not. It's like a flip out flip out screen on a camera. It looks like. Uh, then we have uh, his sneakers. Sneakers look pretty cool. Uh, we have uh, the answers in the wind title. Um, Rashid arrives. You can change the design for your for your cell phone thing. Uh, what else is here? Uh, this other this guy again for a sticker. Who's theme? The Kali's theme. So we have a bunch of themes from Street Fighter V, I guess. Um, cameraman. Wasn't that in the beginning? I feel like that was in the beginning, but maybe not. Maybe, oh, maybe I, I probably went through it. Oh, here's his camera. This is what his camera is. I guess this is his vlog camera. Uh, and then this is the top. Then we have a Roaring Wind of the Desert title. We have another uh, eye device for Rashid. This one is on the free track and it's further down. And I think that, yeah, that's it. So, uh, and then the rest of these are, are coins for, you know, if you want to either use them for like getting colors, but I I would advise saving them so you can always buy the next pass if you're, if you're going to do that. Because if you play the game a lot, you'll mo most likely hit, you'll hit the end of uh, the pass fairly early. It, I think it only took maybe a couple of days for us to hit the, uh, by us, I mean like people, you know, in the field of FGC and stuff like that, to hit the final tier of um, uh, the battle pass or whatever, so you can get to the, like, getting to the end of it or whatever. So, like, I mean, it's, it doesn't take that long. Um, I thought that the, the passes after the first one would have been a little longer, but they're, I guess they're basing it on, you know, casual players playing it now and then, and they want people to you know, s stick to playing the game and, uh, you know, trying to get all of the, all of the tiers. 30 is not a lot of tiers, but I mean, it could be a, it could be a similar amount of time. I don't know. I don't know. It's actually not a similar amount of time because in Valorant, we have a hundred tiers and it usually takes me around like half, like even when I was playing the game, like every day or, um, like every, every other day. It took me like half of the month or like maybe maybe a month or a half a month or something like that to, to to get through the pass if I was playing a lot. Maybe oh maybe it took me longer than that. Time time felt like it was going by pretty fast. So I, I don't know. Maybe it could have took me longer than that. I think it was at least a month um it took me to get through through the pass. I usually really didn't like pay attention too much. Um, cause I was never trying to like grind the pass after, after a certain amount of time, like, after a certain amount of months, I was just like, okay, bypass. Cause I know I'm going to, I'm going to end up getting through it. But, um, a lot of, there are a lot of other games where I never really got through the pass all the way. Like Fortnite, I never usually will get through the pass all the way. Cause I didn't play the game enough to know that I'm just going to, that's going to hit, hit max on the pass all the time. But in this game and in Valorant, I know I'm going to hit the end of the pass. Um, yeah, this is tier 30 summer vibe retrieval deadline. So you have until the 24th of this month to retrieve all the things on this pass. I don't think you can earn any more on the pass, but you can retrieve all the stuff on the pass. But they, they let you like pick up all your stuff before it goes away, I guess. Um, 
one battle hub match from a cabinet, three battle hub matches from a cabinet, and visit the battle hub one time. 500 kudos, 300 kudos, 200 kudos. Oh yeah, so I guess basically that's a, that's about it for for the news um, from the Street Fighter Six uh, notices thing here. So can't wait to see Rashid, and I don't know when we're gonna get him. If I see anything else about um, you know a release date, maybe I'll post uh, uh, either a TikTok about it or um, just post it on my on my Twitter. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, watching, and see you in the next video. Peace.